In this video, I'm going to show you on how you can run an open source AI models like Llama, Gemma, Gwen, DeepSeek, and many others locally on your computer. So you don't have to connect to the internet, you can keep the conversation private, and also you can change the settings of AI without any issue. And uh, you can even run these open source models without using the most powerful computer. And you can even run these models on some old hardware like i'm talking about just four to eight gigabytes of ram and you don't even need to use a gpu because these some of these models are very very lightweight they're, they're only just a few hundred millions parameter which is very very small but it is more than enough to let you have a human conversation with ai and i'm going to show you how you can install the program that lets you have a chat with ai and I would say this is the best program for it. It is simple, it is easy to use, it is lightweight as well, and it offers fair use open source AI models. And again, you don't have to be technical about it. I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process to install an open source AI model and run the AI locally on your computer or laptop. So first, you have to navigate to the website called john.ai, and that's also the name of the program that you need to use. This is john.ai. And then you can just look around about what this tool is about. Basically, it is a user, nice user interface that lets you conversate with AI. And again, it is open source as well. So it is quite popular. It is easy to use. It is, it has nice user interface. And here I'm going to download the program for my computer. I'm using Windows. You can download for Mac if you want to. If you are using Mac, you can select that. But I'm using Windows, so I'm going to click this button and i just need to wait until the download process is finished the size of the file is 1.2 gigabytes yeah that's quite big and by the way that still not include the ai model it's just the program just the interface so you still need to download the model again and the model size is usually somewhere between a few hundred megabytes to a few gigabytes depending on the size of the model that you want to use some models actually pretty big uh, some high-end models usually a few hundred gigabytes but again if you have a low-end computer just use small models and i'm going to show you where you can find smaller models that you could operate on any computer basically so while still downloading i'm going to i'm I'll be back when it's finished and i will show you the installation process all right, so the download process has finished and now I'm going to just run the setup and I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process to install this program. So you can run the setup and it will start installing the program on your computer. So I'm using Windows and I, this tool is requiring at least six gigabytes of RAM. Uh, it's the recommended amount, but technically you can run the tool if you are just using four gigabyte computer but it's not going to be a smooth experience okay i have this installation process open i think i need to wait a little bit more there you go so the installation process is usually quite straightforward just you know just wait until finish and sometimes might ask you to uh confirm the installation or something like that but overall the process is very much straightforward that's what i like about john ai it is simple, it is easy to use, it is an AI user interface that is designed for basically everyone, even for people that never use computer before. All right, so after it was installed, it will open this uh, another update that is going to be update. Well, I guess we have to wait again, but usually it's going to open an onboarding process and we can start using the application. I don't know how long this will take, so I'm going to just skip forward and when it is finished. And there you go. So it is finally done. It has been installed. So you'll see something that look like this. There is this message asking you to, uh, if you are allowing the program to collect some data, if you're okay with that, you can allow. If you don't, you, just, you can click deny. I'm going to click deny. And you can download model that is going to be operated locally on your computer so there is cloud models cloud models basically you're connecting services like anthropic 
DeepSeek, Google, Grok, ChatGPT via API. So I personally do not recommend use this if you just want to run AI model locally. Now, uh, there is a recommendation. This is just recommendation based on your hardware. So what I like about Jan AI is that it is going to calculate the capability of your hardware and it will recommend some models that would appropriate for your device. Now you can actually download the model right here if you want to. But if you want to look around and see what options that we have, you can go to this many size hub and you can see lots of models available on this platform. Now, if you want to get the model that is appropriate for your computer, you can click this filter compatible with my device, enable that. And for the model size, this is quite important. Usually larger model means it is going to be, it's going to have much bigger parameters. So parameter is, well, I'm not trying to explain that. Basically parameter is, let's say, the bigger parameter, the smarter the AI will be. So if you're using a low-end computer, then I do recommend to use a smaller model with smaller parameter. So I'm going to reduce the size to, let's say, anything between 1 to 2 gigabytes. And trust me, there are lots of AIs within that size. There you go. So we'll see that the selection, the filter work, and it shows me some models that are appropriate to, for my computer. Now, you can use this search section if you know the name or the model that you want to download, or you can also just scroll down and see what options that you, that you have. Now, the smallest model that I know for now is Quen 2.5, and there is the model that is only 0.5 billion parameter, and the size only around 379 megabytes. That's really small, and you can run this even on the lowest end PC that has been used for 20 years. I think you can definitely use that model. But let's try something that's a little bit bigger, but not too big. So I'm going to look around and uh, I guess I'm going to be using DeepSeek R1. And there you go. So there is this model that is 1.5 billion parameter. And I think that's appropriate for my computer. And the size is only around one gigabyte. So let me just download that model. And I'm going to wait until it finishes. So what's unique about that is that this model is actually smaller than the software that I'm using, which is Jan AI. So that's how crazy AI development in the recent years. Now we have AI models that are optimized, very small, but good enough to be used as a way to conversate with AI locally. So I'm going to skip forward and I will show you when it is finished. All right. Now the model has been downloaded and you can click the use button right here or you can also just go to this thread menu and you can select the model that you want to use in this case i'm using DeepSeek r1 with a 1.5 billion parameter so let me just give it a try i'm going to say something like hi there send a message and it will initiate the model usually it's going to take quite a while to start the model but after that you can just have a nice conversation normally so I would say this uh, reasoning model, and that's why there is this reasoning process. That's quite interesting. Let's try something else. Hey, what is the operating system for mobile devices right now? I want to know if it is up to date to the latest information. Okay, so it is showing me several popular operating systems for mobile, including Android, iOS, and many others. Yeah, uh, definitely it's pretty quick. It is generating 60 tokens per second, which around, I would say, 40 to 50 words per second. So that's pretty quick. Now, right, right now, I'm using GPU on my computer, not the latest GPU, of course, but it is helping a lot. Let's try running this model without GPU. So I'm going to visit settings and then hardware and I'm going to disable GPU. I'm going to disable this option. Okay, still waiting. There you go. Now it is going to be running only using whatever available on my CPU and my CPU is not exactly high end either. It's actually low end CPU. So yeah, I have decent amount of RAM, but the CPU is not so great. Now let's go back to the thread again, and I'll try using this AI. And you'll see it's going to be a little bit slower, but it is definitely possible. 
So let's try something else like generate a poem about a, let's say a cat. Okay. It took a bit longer. It has to restart because now it is no longer able to use my GPU. It is entirely being powered by my CPU and my CPU wasn't great either. But you can see that it is slower at only 19 tokens per second. But that's definitely a possibility to use this model, run AI model locally on your computer without using the most expensive hardware. In fact, it is quite possible to run this model on mobile devices like tablet or even smartphone. So yeah, uh, you can go ahead and try using various settings. You can click on this button and explore all the possibilities of the settings for this model. And you can go to Hub again and you can download various models that may be specialized on specific things like there is a model for coding, there is a model for math, etc. So go ahead and use the filter setting that I just shown you earlier. Enable this and then reduce the model size and you can check all the models that are compatible for your computer. And that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Have a great day.